This study was done within the last two months when the 25 people came to the SLOCOG board and asked for remedies in this, situ in this location. And uh, assuming that the city of Rio Grande and the county are uh, in agreement with our recommendation to reduce the left turns across the freeway, I presume Caltrans would be able to implement a solution fairly quickly within a couple of months. It appears that the consultant's assessment has concluded that they can make the, the changes and eliminate the death trap at El Campo and 101 um, with, with low impacts on the other parts of the community and other intersections. And they can do those changes at reasonably low cost. And then once that's accomplished, uh, we're satisfied, the death trap is gone and they can move on to midterm and long-term planning towards what it's going to take to satisfy the other requests from the community for long-term plans for an overpass or a way to access 101 in that region uh, of the freeway. Well, I think that everyone knows the history of El Campo and US Highway 101. There's been a history of accidents. Uh, I think we have a path to move forward to make a definitive safety improvement. But before we get there, it's very important that we hear from the public, they have a chance to weigh in, we take those comments, and they become part of how we reach a final decision at El Campo.